Hi, I'm Andy LaValle, founder of LiveTheFast.com. Why are prayer and fasting a team? To support this thought, I've got a little story for you that I learned while I was studying about fasting in Medjugorje. There's a young man, he's got an infection in his leg. And he cleans it and he applies some ointment to it. But it starts spreading pretty rapidly and nothing seems to work. He decides to go see the specialist, and the specialist takes some tests. The results come back, and it's a twofold cure. The specialist tells him they must be used together to restore the health, the good health in his leg. This is an example of how prayer and fasting work together as a team. They must work together to restore the health in our society, in our families, and in the world today. So prayer is very, very powerful. But combined with fasting, it cannot be denied. Our Lady herself says that prayer and fasting is so powerful that it can stop wars. Look, prayer and fasting work. How do I know? Well, sometimes, until you experience it yourself, you're a skeptic. And yes, that was me. I learned firsthand how they work. For me, when I used them together, and left, I left all my vices aside and I embrace the virtues of the Holy Spirit. In the book Great Lent by theologian Alexander Schmemann, he looks back into the Old Testament in the Garden of Eden when God tells Adam to not take the fruit from the tree. And then the devil came and he tempted him and he succumbed. By giving in to his desires and, uh, and not fasting from the fruit of the tree, he separated himself from God. Once separated from God, Sin is revealed. The fall of Adam had everything to do with food. Then the new Adam, Jesus, comes to show us a better way. To prepare himself for his ministry, Christ is led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the same devil that tempted Adam. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and he proved that the conquest of Satan and all his temptations is possible through the practice of prayer and fasting. The meaning of these two examples is significant because in Jesus' example, prayer and fasting won a decisive victory over evil. And Jesus shows us its ultimate importance that it will directly affect our own salvation. I've got a great love and a devotion for the Blessed Mother. She's reaffirmed this importance to me by asking us all to convert to her son through prayer and fasting. She taught me firsthand that con true conversion cannot happen without the team of prayer and fasting. In countless, countless apparitions, the Blessed Virgin Mary has referred to prayer and fasting as a team. In fact, in one of those, she said, other than the Holy Eucharist, other than her son in the Holy Eucharist, the most powerful weapon that we can use against Satan is prayer and fasting. She also recommends a bread and water fast. Bread to signify her son in the Holy Eucharist and water for the cleansing of the soul. In Father Slavko Barbaric's book, Fast with the Heart, he says, without prayer and fasting, God's plans cannot be realized. So it's our cooperation, it's our cooperation that is very, very important. Which leads me to my final thought, a person who prays will always fast better, and a person who fasts will always pray better. I'm Andy LaValle. To learn more about prayer and fasting, visit livethefast.com. <laughs>